Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today I've got some very interesting information on S Plus coming to the console and the PC as an official mod. Now I wouldn't say this is like the best of news for you guys but I wanted to share with you um, like you know just because I want to keep you up to date with everything that's been going on with it because we've all been waiting so long to find out about S Plus so this is some pretty big news. We're also going to be going through the Community Crunch 137, I'll be going through that and then I'll be talking about S Plus afterwards. And again, a massive sorry for the bad um, quality on today's video. As you know, I am still on holiday, but as of Monday onwards, the videos will be going back to normal, you know, every single day, great quality and stuff. It's literally just because I'm on holiday at the moment and I'm trying to get all these videos out for you because all of a sudden lots of interesting information's popped up um, and I didn't expect to have to do these because I scared videos while I was away but you know I don't mind doing it I love making videos even you know if I can do it on holiday I can do it so if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel it really does mean a lot to me and uh, again uh, if anything goes wrong with this video it might cut out at the end or you know that the quality of the mic might be bad or something it is literally probably you know it's my laptop from years ago um, so hopefully you can bear with this but anyway so let's get in with with the video again things might be laggy as well as we go through because um, I'm trying hoping it won't because of the Wi-Fi here but yeah community crunch 137 code of conduct changes community live stream roundup and dev kit update um, I will be talking about the S plus thing after this but I wanted to cover everything to do with the community crunch as I have not done it already um, so code of conduct changes the enforcement team are back again with another important notice regarding the code of conduct we'd like to make official players aware of the following three revisions so it's great that they're doing this all the time. I mean, before um, this how was happening on Arc, there was no changes. There was nothing going on with um, you know stopping hacking, stopping cheating, stopping exploits and stuff. And now Wildcard seem to be doing this like every single day. There doesn't seem to be much happening with the console side of things with the code of conduct, but it's more seems to be PC, and I'm hoping they do a bit more for console because I know there's huge problems going on with that, but we'll see what happens in the future. So, revision, small tribe server specific rules. No teaming to maintain the intent and spirit of small tribe servers. Playing uh, players are not permitted to form a, uh, informal alliances between tribes. This, uh, you know, uh, is things like joint raids against one or more tribes, including cross-server, sharing tame breeded lines, breeding lines with tribes, um, sharing tames between tribes, and moving characters back and forth between multiple tribes, using non-tribe member bodies to store and transport items, bringing players from multiple tribes into a boss fight. And do not attempt to, um, to you know, basically just don't go over the six member limit. And the reason for this is because this, every, I think small tribe servers seem to be very popular at the moment. And I personally quite like the idea of it. I haven't started one up yet, but I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube of these small tribe servers. And they do look quite fun. Um, and uh, I cannot wait for more speciality servers, what they might be bringing to in the end. Because then I actually feel like if there was some more really awesome ones, I'd actually be up for playing um some of these on the official servers again but let me know if you've seen any of this but if this if you do if you know if anyone does this or if you know of anyone doing this then you've got to be careful because you will be getting banned or wiped and as you can see pve specific griefing intentionally filling the server tame limit via spamming tames or rafts so basically it's the same thing as you know griefing the land and stuff People are getting annoyed um, with uh, people like filling up things with rafts. So if you do, um, you know, spam tames or rafts, you will get banned or wiped. It's not 100% that you'll be banned, but you could be wiped of everything. And if they feel like, you're, you know, you're someone that's just doing this and you're not actually wanting to work on the server or anything like that, you're just doing it to mess things up, you will get completely banned. And this could be off the um, ARC official network or it could be banned from ARC Survival Evolved as a, as a, like a, you know, a full on hole. So I wouldn't want to do that if I were you guys. So make sure you're staying away from doing any of this stuff. 
So again, there's been community live streams going on recently, and I personally, I joined the first one, but there wasn't really the information that, um, you know, that I really wanted from it, so I was hoping there was going to be big ARC news. They do do awesome stuff on there, and, you know, it's a lot of the stuff with the community, and I'm glad they, um, you know, they do a lot, lots more of that stuff. Um, and look, they're looking at more mods here, which is great as well, as you guys can see. Look at these awesome pictures here, um, at the Brachiosaurus and stuff. Um, yeah, so, so, you know, there's some really nice stuff going on with the community live stream that they were doing there but for me it's not something I go and watch a lot just because it's not really what I'm interested in I'm more interested into finding out what I can play next on Ark really but anyway there's been some mod community updates and uh, this has been going on for uh, quite a while now um, it's number nine which is quite interesting uh, so that's the week nine of it so you guys know Zen Ro joined into the um, uh, he, he joined into the um, uh, like the community as the mod, uh, community mod manager of, uh, of Wildcard and he's just been doing lots of stuff um, teaching people how to do random things and I don't know and there has been some mainten maintenance this is probably finished by now if if not and there's maintenance going on now then um, then you know what's been going on but I think that happened last week anyway you guys know this event is now live the archaeology event it has been for a while and it will finish on the 15th of July so you've still got another two weeks of this if you're interested interested in doing this to find some clues on with on the way to extinction no idea what this is um the summer sale is here for the next 14 days you can collect an arc themed outfit um okay that's interesting <laughs> um yeah okay thank you wildcard and uh, yeah so sales going on i think that's really much ev you know everything from the community crunch and i don't know when this evolution event um oh it finishes on the 2nd of july if you're interested in that and you play on official servers so you've got another two days of that but yeah really that is all from the community crunch so i think it's time we get into some s plus information which a lot of you guys have been waiting for um i'm just gonna get to the top here there we go um so not a very interesting community crunch a few things about the code of conduct but nothing too special anyway so chris um who does work for wildcard he's a programmer Someone said to them, with the end of this DLC, you should probably start thinking of, of being S plus official as you promised. And Chris does reply, full S plus isn't in our plans. We're planning to cherry pick different things from S plus improvements and integrate them however. So we won't be getting a full S plus and I know uh, this, you know, we've sort of known about this for a while, but I, I know a lot of people don't know that this isn't a thing. We won't be getting the full S plus for the console or the PC. Obviously on the PC you can just download the mod, but if you're on console, you will not be getting the full S+. Plus. I know this is sad and I feel like they should have made that more um, more obvious when they did TwitchCon because when they released TwitchCon they literally said S plus is the next official mod so everyone's obviously going to think oh wow we're going to be getting S plus I'm so happy and you know they didn't they didn't say we're just getting a small few things so I don't know the features that we're going to be getting so far for S plus I don't know what there's going to be or the additions are but it isn't the full S plus not every feature is going to be there and they're only going to be adding it in with different things when they feel like they need to. So let's say there's a problem, you know, I think they're probably deciding right now what the stuff they want from S+. Plus. And another reason why they can't add it in is it's too big for the, you know, it's like huge gigabytes um, for, um, you know, for a mod to be integrated into the game for console. And I just don't think it works. And it's quite frustrating in a way because... Um, you know, there's loads of other games that you think about it that I don't want to complain too much like Fallout or anything. And they seem to have these crazy mods added in. And I know a lot of you guys think will Fallout and Skyrim mods come to Ark. And I don't think they will um, one day, which is sad. Like, there's been some information like not long ago where it made us feel like it, they will, there will be. But right now, all that we know is the full S Plus isn't in their plans. And we're just going to be getting, you know, the, a few pieces from it every now and then. And if you want to know like sort of a release date, um, hopefully this does load because I don't know what the Wi-Fi is like. Um, so this guy here said, Hi Chris, um, are these changes going to be added in over time or all at once? Will they start being added in before or after Extinction, if you can say? Now unfortunately he didn't say if it was going to be added before or after Extinction, but he literally just says over time as priorities permits. So that really means just as, as, as and when really. I can't really explain it any more than that. And again, so... 
over the next of you know the course of 2018 we'll probably see a part of s plus added in i would have expected um you know there's still a lot of months to go we've got extinction coming up so i would expect to see you know still five months time a one part of s plus added in with an update coming up soon um maybe two i don't really know and then into 2019 we'll probably get a little bit more of it i hope we get the you know the things we all want i know this is such a small thing but just the way how s plus builds work how you can have double doors um you know how you can connect things much easier and make cooler bases is the biggest part i want with it and i'm worried that we're just going to get very small pieces of s plus that really don't make that much of a difference um and uh, yeah so i hope you guys aren't too upset about that um you know at the end of the day at least we're getting a few parts of it it isn't actually coming as a mod it's going to be added into the core game so they can't really the reason why they they're not releasing the full thing is because they don't want to just chuck in the whole of s plus into their core game because they're saying